Hey everybody, it is August 11, 2018, and uh, da 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 da. It is 4.26 p.m. in the afternoon on a Friday. And uh, today I took on the clam early. Um, so last night, after I woke up from my daily nap, or daily sleep, I don't know if I sleep anymore, I think I always nap, and, um, I was planning to go to the movies, and I went out to the 1015, and I saw a Black Klansman. I wanted to see it before I drew the cartoon, even though I kind of had the idea before the cartoon, I mean, I had the concept, I thought doing the whole Laura Ingraham thing was good. Um, so you guys may not know this. But if you do, bear with me, or just enjoy the way that I describe it. I dropped the guitar pick. I don't know. Help me. I picked it up. All right. Um, so Omarosa does this whole big spiel thing on Fox News saying, oh, America doesn't look like the America I know anymore because there's brown people here. She didn't say brown people. But she said, because of changing demographics from illegal immigration and even legal immigration. That's what these conservatives do. They even complain about the people that who come here Ill, who come here legally. She's here legally. That's bad. Oh my God! We let them in and they abide by all the laws. So they don't even like just get upset over illegal immigration. They don't even want people coming coming here who are brown who who go through the laws. That so they say, hey, come here legally. What you came here legally? Well, then I'm gonna complain about that. And that's what she did. And even David Dick was like, yeah. Great, I love it. I love what you said. And then he deleted it because he tweeted it. Because everything has to go through Twitter now. And then she gave this other spiel about, hey, they don't represent my viewpoints, my beliefs, but yes, they do. And you represent theirs. Laura Ingraham. She gave this um, this weird wave at the Republican National Convention, which you're already on a news show. Why are you speaking at a convention? You shouldn't be doing that. But she gave this wave where she sticks her arm out real, real straight and then she turns it into a wave. And she did it like for like half a second. So, it's, hey, it's a wave. It just looked weird for a second. But the thing is, she had this smirk on her face like I'm actually doing it. I'm actually doing it. And it's not the wave to me that tells me that she did it. It's that look on her face that tells me that she actually meant to give a high old Hitler salute. And she did it. And so, it's been a year since um, tomorrow's anniversary of the white nationalist rally in Charlottesville. And they're going to commem commemorate it with a rally in Charlottesville tomorrow. Or try. I don't think they can legally, but they're still going to show up. I don't think Charlottesville gave them a permit. And they have a good reason not to because last year somebody died, Heather Heyer. And um, they're definitely got, going to do a rally in D.C. You got the permits for that. Although most of the restaurants in D.C. are saying we're not serving you. If you see anybody tomorrow in D.C., if you work in a restaurant and you have and they have a buzz cut and a polo shirt on, don't serve them, okay? Don't. Don't trust them. Bad people. Um, and if they're wearing like a hood and a sheet, you definitely know. And they're carrying a tiki torch. Yeah, don't. Um, and Donald Trump walked them to town with a tweet attacking the NFL. Another wolf whistle. Oh, these black players, they should be happy with what they have. And stop complaining. You should not have a social conscience if you're doing well. If you have a good paycheck, you shouldn't worry about other people. That's the message Donald Trump is sending. Know your place. And if you're black, you're allowed to protest, but you need to only protest the way that we tell you it's okay to protest. Um, you need to do it without violence. Wait, you're doing it without violence? Okay, you need to do it quietly. Oh, you're doing it quietly. Okay, well, then you need to do it without violence and do it quietly, but don't do it when we don't want you to. You need to do it somewhere else. Do it in a locker room where there are no cameras so nobody can see you. Yeah, anyway, they annoy me. <clears throat> Sorry, I had some 
Um, chicken strips. And he's just like, I feel like I need water. <laughs> We're going to do some shout outs. My voice is so hoarse now. Um, Akenta, thank you for putting up the link for the Costa Rica Star video for this, this week's. I'm going to check that one out. I mean, I'm going to add it to my list, to my uh, favorites, so that you guys can just go there and see it. And uh, Akenta was looking at my newest cartoon, this one, and trying to predict what movie I saw she knew. It was a really good movie. You need to go see it. Um, it was fun. And it's funny. It's heavy. It doesn't really get too heavy. It's kind of like typical Spike Lee style. But the ending, wow. The ending, it was heavy. The, the hair was standing on my arm. Both of them. I have two arms and the hair standing up on both of them. Um, and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. And maybe that combined with which weekend this one is, is why. But it was very, very heavy for me. I liked it. And I would go see it again. If one of my friends wants to go see the movie, I'll go back to the theater. Uh, I can't tell the last video and said that um, there were uh, 21 MAGA stickers, one MAGA hat, 17 Trump stickers, four FBI agents, and eight bills, eight dollar bills. And uh, I gotta tell you, those stickers, they were a pain in the butt to do. time now to start doing this with guitars. Uh, and apparently Errol said that I said a curse word last time. I'm not going to repeat the curse word. But when I was out with my buddy today, I told him the joke I heard from Seth Myers. And everybody around us said, ha ha. And then I got kind of somebody even imitated a drum roll. Yeah. Mm. And Errol was counting the the money, doing the logistics for the whole Scotland thing with Trump when I said that we have to pay for them to stay at his resorts. And Ariel, Ariel, you were right. Um, $77,000 was just the tab for staying at his resort. We had to spend a lot of money on other things too, from the travel to the fuel to the security. So it probably cost uh, several million. And I understand that he was over there anyway, but still to add to that, I mean, they didn't say at another resort, did it save money staying at Trump's resort? I don't think so. In anything, anyway, the President of the United States should not be making money off his office. There's a lawsuit for this, and I really, really, really want them to stop this crap. Trump should not own property that people are from foreign governments, people that the United States is doing business with and negotiations with. He should not own property that they're staying in at all. He should not be taking the dignitaries of Japan and China to Mar-a-Lago and making bank off that. And I like to joke, everything Donald Trump touches dies. Melania got lucky, she's only dead inside. Ah. That's like one of my jokes. That's how bad it is. Ugh. But still good. <laughs> I liked it. And you're right, um, Ariel, that people say to comedians, you know, that um, this administration gives us so much material. And, but it's too much material. It's too much. But we always say this as cartoonists. If cartoonists are like rich with material, the country is in bad shape. And right now, we are really, really rich with content. We have so much stuff going on. I'm glad today's video is a little bit shorter than usual. It's only 10 minutes. I didn't start drawing this till about 9 a.m. this morning. And then I uh, finished it around noon. Then I walked up to the Goodwill store because it's right down the street. And I bought two shirts. And then I went to McDonald's. And get this, I ordered some food. I was going to take it home. And my buddy Gordon calls me, hadn't seen him about four months, and he's like, hey, let's go get lunch. And then my one of my housemates walks into McDonald's, and I'm like, here, take my lunch. I'm going to have lunch with Gordon, so I, I bought two lunches today. And I ate one of them. Oh, if you go to McDonald's, definitely order off the dollar menu because it's cheap and it's actually better than the Big Macs and Quarter Pounders. Just get that bacon double cheeseburger or the triple cheeseburger. They're good. And you spend like seven bucks if you get fries and a drink.
you guys like the guy in the background with his finger in the nose? <laughs> okay, we are almost done. Are we done? We're almost done. We're almost done. What about done? Color the signs. I was debating about how to do the White House in the background because I definitely wanted it there. And so I decided, ah, nothing complex, just give it a quick sketch. That's what we did. Okay, I want to thank you all for coming by. Um, please share this on social media. Click like. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me how crappy I am at playing guitar. I'm just noodling, but. Today says so Stratocaster, my orange. And um, subscribe to the blog, please. Subscribe. Click the red button. Thank you very much, and I'll see you folks uh, Monday. Bye.